This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com, offering all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike Magista Opus in the latest Black Volt and Hyper Punch colorway. Now inside the box, as you get with all the top end models from Nike, a string bag is included. This particular string bag is Hyper Punch in color with Volt yellow strings. You're going to find a black Nike swoosh on the front. And on the back, you're going to find your black Nike football branding. Other than that, all you're going to find inside the box are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these out of the box really quickly. And if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the latest colorway of the Nike Magista Opus, a shoe that essentially is the unofficial Nike CTR360 Maestri 4. So if you like the Maestri 3, don't necessarily want a pair and you want a shoe that is similar, the Magista Opus is definitely the shoe to go for. If you guys do want more details on the overall performance, I do have several videos up on my YouTube channel. I'll leave all of those annotations on screen. A play test, a comparison with the Magista Obra, maybe a comparison with the Maestri 3 is in order. Let me know down below in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. And with that being said, check out those annotations on screen and let's get right into the video. To start things off, let's quickly talk about the colorway. Now, as you can see, it does feature a black Kangalite synthetic base, but there's kind of two different shades of black on the upper, kind of bordering the edges as well as around the heel area. You can see it kind of has a standard synthetic leather finish with no extra shine or dullness to it whatsoever. But the main portion of the upper here where you're gonna find all the performance mesh has more of a matte finish. And hopefully you guys can see the difference in color between these two different finishes, because it definitely is very, very noticeable in person. You're gonna find your black tongue, the black laces, the black heel liner. And for the most part, the majority of the sole plate, including the heel counter, is also black in color. You're gonna find your white Nike swoosh on the lateral, as well as on the medium side with a volt yellow Nike swoosh right there on the tongue and then your volt yellow on the performance mesh is featured on the lateral side as you get into the forefoot you can see it kind of fades into a yellow then to an orange and then eventually to that hyper punch color which looks like more of a red as opposed to a pink like it has uh, been featured on several other colorways from Nike um, so again it kind of has a cool looking fade definitely very very different in comparison to the Magista Obra which obviously is the Flyknit model and side by side I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this on video the colors on the Obra appear to be much more vibrant than they are on the Opus one thing that kind of surprised me about this shoe in person is that the uh, color of the upper which is obviously in that mesh underlay material just seems a little bit dull in comparison to what you're going to find on the uh, Magista Opus which like I mentioned is the Flyknit model. Hopefully you guys can tell on camera that the colors on this shoe just seem to pop a lot more in comparison to what you're going to find on the Opus. It's not a big deal but definitely something worth mentioning if you were interested in this particular colorway and then like I mentioned on the base you have your black base with your Volt Yellow and then the little hyper punch detail in the four studs on the medial side. So that's pretty much it as far as the colorway is concerned. And well, next we'll talk about all the tech specs that you should know about the Magista Opus. As far as performance is concerned, again, I do have a playtest video on the channel where I show you guys the shoes in action and talk about the overall performance. So if you guys are interested in more details on the performance of the shoe, I would strongly recommend checking that out. I'll leave an annotation on screen, so go ahead and click that if you are interested. But for the sake of the video, we'll go over all of the tech specs that you should know about if you are interested in a pair of these for yourself. Now, like I said, this is more or less the unofficial um, CTR360 Maestri 3. Obviously, it's part of the Magista line, and a lot of people view it as a, the takedown to the Magista Obra, which is the mid-cut Flyknit model. But in comparison, the Opus and the Obra really have nothing in common. Other than that, they kind of have a similar design on the upper, and then of course are both part of the Magista line. Other than that, both of these shoes are very, very different. Now with the Magista Opus, you're gonna get a full synthetic upper, which combines what Nike calls performance mesh, which is this colored underlay material with a very thin Kangalite synthetic upper over top, Kangalite being their synthetic material 
material designed to mimic the natural feel and softness of kangaroo leather while still maintaining the benefits of a synthetic in that it's lighter, it doesn't absorb as much water, for that reason it dries much more quickly, it maintains its shape a little bit better, etc, etc. So the combination of performance mesh and kangalite on the upper actually feels really good. In comparison to all prior Maestri models, it's definitely on the thinner side, but you still get that slightly padded sensation. The port performance mesh with the kind of perforated can kangalite kind of uh, overlay material uh, provides enough stability and a very soft and flexible sensation in comparison to all past Maestri models as well. So as far as comfort is concerned, you're going to feel really, really good and really comfortable in these shoes pretty much from right out of the box with no break in time required. Um, they feel great and really I can't complain. Uh, it's a leather like sensation, but definitely on the thinner side in order to kind of modify the touch a little bit. They haven't added any rubber elements, which was fairly common for Maestri models. Instead, they incorporated this very fine kind of sandpaper like texturing across the entire upper at least where you see all of the performance mesh now this little bit of texturing adds a very slight grip on the ball nothing too crazy nothing like rubber would provide but it definitely is noticeable and a nice little addition to a shoe that I think would be otherwise perhaps a little bit too simple and then of course ACC all conditions control is also incorporated onto the shoe to add for uh, act as your kind of wet control element, uh, providing better grip on the ball in wet playing conditions. One of those things you can't really say does or doesn't do anything, but it is a nice little feature that you're going to find on all of Nike's top end models. Same cut in the heel area, so it's going to provide a nice supportive sensation. You do have your external plastic heel counter here, which is going to provide some good protection and lateral kind of stability. On the inside, you're going to find a perforated synthetic leather kind of in the back heel portion. On the sides, it's a smooth leather material. Um, all of which is backed by a decent amount of padding. So in terms of concept and comfort, you're going to get that, like I mentioned, with the Magista Opus. The insole is fully removable. I'll take it out for you guys right now. And you can see that it features a uh, mesh liner on top, perforations throughout. Um, and it's just made from one single layer of this yellow foam. Nothing too fancy. It's a decent thickness of foam. So as far as step and comfort goes, it definitely does get the job done. Moving on to the sole plate, it's supposed to be the same layout as what you find on the Obra, which is significantly stiffer than what you are going to find from your average soccer shoe with a plastic sole plate. Um, the Obra features compressed nylon. This is also supposed to be compressed nylon, but um, in comparison, it is a lot more flexible and a lot thinner, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's a little bit more flexible than what we got from the Maestri 3, but as far as sole plates go, it definitely will get the job done. It provides a nice kind of uh, smooth sensation when you're running. And then as far as the new Magista stud pattern layout is concerned, it's similar to what we get from uh, the Nike Tiempo series, obviously minus the bladed studs in the heel, which have been replaced for conical studs. They have a fairly narrow profile, so they penetrate the ground really nicely, but still maintain a good amount, amount of maneuverability when planted. And overall, it's just a really, really good stud pattern. Can't complain, complain about it whatsoever. One of my personal favorites to use on firm natural grass plane surfaces. So that's pretty much it as far as all the tech specs go on the Magista Opus. And next we'll talk about how much these shoes weigh. Something that kind of surprises me every time I pick up the Magista Opus is how light it actually is. Considering the type of feel that it provides, you would expect it to weigh somewhere around the 8 ounce mark, but it's actually much lighter than that. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale, and you can see that they weigh in at 6.9 ounces under the 7 ounce mark, which is pretty incredible for a shoe of this type. Again, if you're looking for that more padded sensation, a leather like sensation when making touches on the ball but still want something that is going to feel more or less weightless on your feet and also be extremely comfortable the Magista Opus is a very very unique option in today's soccer cleat market so that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of the video goes and move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and of course what the sizing is like all right, here's a look at the Magista Opus on feet. And from right out of the box, this is a very, very comfortable shoe. Like I mentioned, the cutouts in the Kangalite upper and that performance mesh face makes for a very, very flexible feel from right out of the box where the shoe just moves very naturally with the bend of your foot, both the upper as well as the sole plate. As far as the fit is concerned, it is a tighter fitting shoe. It does feature the X1.1 last shared from the Hypervenom line. And for that reason, you have a decent amount of width in the midfoot, but definitely 
a tighter overall fit in the forefoot and toe box area. So again, if you have wide feet, it's probably best to stay away. You will get some stretch out of this relatively thin Kangolite upper, but for the most part, the way it fits from right out of the box is the way it's going to fit for its entire lifespan. So again, if you have excessively wide feet, you're probably better off sticking to something made from a natural leather material. As far as sizing is concerned, I find that these run about a half size small, so instead of wearing my usual size 9 US, I bumped it up to a 9.5, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking on ordering a pair of Magista Opuses, I would strongly recommend going half a size up for the best possible fit. All right, guys, sit for my unboxing of the Nike Magista Opus. This is a really good shoe that offers a lot of unique performance aspects about it. The Kangolite upper in combination with the performance mesh provides a, an ultra thin leather like sensation that no other shoe on the market currently has to offer. It's a very, very comfortable shoe and offers a surprisingly ultra lightweight construction and I think is going to surprise a lot of people once they have the opportunity to hold these things in their hand. And again, if you were looking for the successor to the Maestri 3, the Magista Opus is definitely the shoe to consider. Um, again, if you guys want more information on the overall performance, I'm currently in the process of finishing up my full written review on the Magista Opus, so look for that to go up hopefully in the next couple of days uh, from when this video goes up, so stay tuned for that. On the review page right now, which is linked down below in the description if you want to check it out, you'll find the high quality images of this shoe that I give you a better idea as to how they actually do look in person, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes, allowing you to pick these up below their retail price if you are interested. So again, that link is down below in the description. Also leave an annotation on screen to some comparison videos, as well as my playtest video of the Magista Opus if you want, again, more details on the performance. Of course, course in video form. If you have any questions regarding this shoe at all, be sure to leave those questions down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video, found it informative and helpful, be sure to support it with a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.